What's up, Martians? Just doing a quick update. Uh, I got a, I got actually, Rad Power Bikes is pretty cool. They sent me this. Um, since I was not able to use my $50, $50 off coupon code at the time, um, I think they sell these for like 40 bucks on their website. Uh, it's like right under 50 shipped. So they, they sent me this. It's kind of cool. Um, I got one little problem with it, but I mean, it's not the end of the world. The way this is engineered up here, um, I can't get that get that strap around here. It's, the strap actually ends like halfway. There, there's just no way that would work. The front is really snug and this one's really snug. So I mean, it's not going anywhere. Um, I have an iPhone X and with my case on there, I can get it in here, but it's a, it's a lot of work. It's like really hard. If I take my case off, I, I think it you know, probably won't be a problem. And actually, I can get my Glock 43 with the flush magazine uh, in here also. It just kind of goes out a little bit, but it will zip, which is kind of cool. The only thing I don't like about that is the trigger's exposed, and I always keep one in the chamber. So, but you know, and I don't really, I'm not, I live out here in the suburbs, so there's really no need. I'll probably put pepper spray or, or some other uh, defense mech in there. Maybe a, uh, I mean, of course, a knife probably too. I got a little flashlight. Um, there's my vape pod. I mean, you can actually get, get a decent amount of stuff in there. It's there. It comes with a little separator in the middle. I took that out. So who knows? Probably keep it on there. Why not? Storage is always, storage is always good. Uh, I do have an update guys with this thing. Um, I'm right at the 40 mile marker. And, uh, when I was taking off, I heard this vibration. Now I know the, the motor is gonna make noise, uh, that electric whine, and it's not loud or nothing. That's that's totally fine. This this wasn't that though. This was happening only on takeoff, especially in Power Assist 5, or romping the throttle all the way and, and, and taking off. It was just like a, well obviously it's metal vibrating, and I'll tell you what it was. It was this, uh, on, on the disc brake here, let me get this camera in focus autofocus on this thing is I'm not it's all right but um the the whatever you call this that holds the disc brake pads in there was was vibrating so what I did is on the other side here there is a, an adjustment let's see right there that adjustment takes an allen key uh I just tighten it up one one click and the rattle went away now you could slightly hear the pad rubbing on the rotor and i just rode around the block and it's like it kind of just evened it out it's not rubbing anymore but that but that noise went away so if you're trying to troubleshoot that i thought it was the spokes or you know i started kind of worrying and i thought something was wrong with it um but i was finally able to to track that sound down and, and that's all it was so if anything else happens I will make an update video but I am getting ready to go for a ride just kind of wanted to share those two things with you guys all right peace